Hello everyone, it is our honor to present our work here. In the following, we shall introduce our work from five aspects. First, we shall introduce some basic backgrounds of our work. Cubat texts were first proposed by Dina and Shamir at Euro Capital 2009. For stream ciphers, the output with Z is a tweakable Boolean function f on secret key variables and array variables. For a given public variable set i, f could be rewritten as the following form, where ti is the product of variables in i, and q is the summation of terms that misses at least one variable in i. The basic idea of Cuba tax is that pi is equal to the summation of all the 2 to the power of b polynomials derived from f by setting cubic variables to all the 2 to the power of d possible values. In cubic tax, variables in i are called cubic variables and the remaining, the remaining variables in v are called non-cubic variables. The linear space ci spanned by cubic variables is called a cube. The polynomial pi is called the superpoly of i in f. Cube attacks could be divided into two phases. In the offline phase, which is the independent of the secret key, one should find some useful superpolys to recover the secret key. In the online phase, one should solve a system of equations derived from the previously found superpolis under the real key. Later, based on the idea of cube attacks, the concept of the cube test was proposed. Different from the cube attacks, the idea of cube tester is aiming at non-randomness, namely finding superpolis which could be distinguished from random polynomial such as their constant polynomials. Originally, linear tests are applied to find the linear superpolis in cube attacks. However, the computing complexity increases exponentially as the size of i increases. Generally, the size of i is confined to 40. At Crypto 2017, Toto and some other researchers applied the diffusion property to the cube attacks for the first time and make a breakthrough. The main idea of diffusion property based cube attacks is using diffusion property to analyze the algebraic normal form of the output bit. Hence, cubes with large sizes could be used. Diffusion property as a generalization of the integral property was first proposed at Euro Crypto 2015. Later, at FSE 2016, the bit based diffusion property was proposed to investigate integral characteristics for the bit based block ciphers. Then, at Asia Crypto 2016, Xiang and some other researchers combined mixed integer linear programming methods with division property. With the aid of MILP, the best division property could be applied widely. With the development of a bit best division property, the division property based cube attacks were proposed. Later, Total and some other researchers improved the diffusion property based cube attacks by considering the effect of non cube variables which are acid to zero. Then, one and some other researchers made improvements by proposing some techniques such as the drag technique and the degree evaluation method. In the following, we shall present our motivations and the contributions. In diffusion property-based cube attacks, 
for a given cube i, a set j which contains all the key variables appearing in the superpolis could be figured out. However, it best the division property could not analyze the ANF of the output bit precisely since it does not consider the terms vanished by XOR operations. Hence, for a cube set i, even though the set j is not empty, the superpoly pi may be constant. To keep the validity of carefully attacks, there was an important assumption which is called a weak assumption. The main idea of weak assumption is that for a given cube i, there are many values of non curve variables such that the corresponding superpoly is not a constant function. However, weak assumption does not always hold. It indicates that some so called key recovery attacks may be distinguished attacks only. Based on the above motivations, we further study the division property based cube attacks and proposed a new method which is able to recover the superpoly of I in the output. With our new method for the cube used to attack 832 round Javium at critical 2017, we recover the exact ANF of its superpoly. Based on this exact superpoly, we could do key recovery attacks on 832 round Javium. Furthermore, for the cubes proposed at crypto 2018, we prove we prove that their superpolis are all zero constant. Hence, the key recovery attacks are all distinguished attacks, actually. Table 1 summarizes our contributions. Before illustrating our work in detail, we shall introduce some preliminaries. The division property is defined on a multiset whose elements take a value of an n-dimensional binary vector. When the multiset X has the division property D subscript capital K, upscript 1, upscript N, it fulfills the following conditions. It can be seen that the n-dimensional vectors are divided into two paths according to the multiset X. Considering the propagation of the division property, Xiang and some other researchers proposed the concept of a division trail. The detailed definition is shown in the slide. With the concept of a division trail, one could calculate the division property of the output set iteratively. Based on this concept, the division property could be used to analyze the ANF coefficients of a Boolean function. In specific, for a dimensional bit vector, if there is no division trail, such that starting from k to 1, then the coefficient of x upper script u is always there for u. Following the above lemma, Toto and some other researchers proposed the following proposition. Let f be a polynomial and i be a cube set. If there exists a division trail from the vector formed by e subscript j and k subscript i to 1, then it is regarded that xj is involved in the superpoly of i in f. Based on the above proposition in division property based cube attacks, one could figure out a set j containing all the key variables involved in the superpoly. After that, in division property based cube attacks, there are many three steps to do key recovery attacks. In the first phase, one should find the proper value of non cube variables such that the corresponding superpoly is a non constant polynomial. 
In the second phase, one should query the encryption oracle to obtain the value of the superpoly and the real key, so that some wrong keys could be discarded. Finally, in the third phase, get the remaining secret key bits to recover the entire secret key. It was noting that the set of key bits that the superpoly depends on is a subset of J. Our main work is focusing on diffusion property based cube attacks. Since the, division, since the bit based diffusion property could not analyze the ANF coefficients precisely, it is possible that key recovery attacks may reduce to distinguished attacks only. Targeting at the above problem, our solution is computing the exact ANF of the superpoly for a given cube i. And our main idea is expressing Z as a polynomial on the initial state iteratively and discard terms that the superpoly of i is zero constant in each iteration. Assuming Z is expressed as a polynomial on the internal state at time t, following our main idea, for a cube set i, it needs to judge whether the superpoly of i in U is zero constant. By analyzing the division property of the internal state at time t, the following lemma gives us a sufficient condition such that the superpoly of i in a term U is zero constant. Accordingly, we introduced the idea of invalid terms, where the superpoly of i in an invalid term is zero constant. Based on the above lemma, we could divide the polynomial gt into two parts, namely gt1 and gt2, where the superpoly of i in gt2 is zero constant. Hence, we only need to consider gt1. According to the above two lemmas, we propose a new method to recover the superpoly of a given cube based on diffusion property. First, we express the output Z as a polynomial on the internal state at time t. Then, we discard invalid terms and so a reduced polynomial gt1 could be obtained. For gt1, we further express it as a polynomial on internal state at time t minus nt, and then repeat the above procedure. When reaching the initial internal state, the superpoly could be recovered according to the initialization way. In the following, we discuss some details of our method. The first one is how to discard invalid terms. According to lemma 2, we could use MRP added division property to remove invalid terms. However, when the number of terms is large, the computing complexity is high. It was noting that when the degree of u is smaller than the size of i, u is an invalid term. It indicates that we could use a degree evaluation method based on numeric mapping to remove invalid terms. Consequently, our solution is first using the numeric, numeric mapping based method to discard invalid terms and then utilizing the MRP added method to discard invalid terms. Another issue is how to determine NT. In the first iteration, NT is set to 300, hence it only needs to build MLP models tracing the propagation of a division property through R minus 300 rounds. Therefore, the scale of MLP models could be reduced, and so it could be solved more efficiently. In the next iterations, NT is set to a proper value such that the terms in GT minus NT are not too much. The details could be found in algorithm 5 in our manuscript. 
As illustrations, we apply our new method to Trivium. Trivium is a bit-oriented stream server de designed by Kanye and Preneo. The main building block of Trivium is a 288-bit nonlinear feedback shift register. It supports an 8-bit key and an 8-bit IV and has 1,152 initialization runs. Trivium is one of extreme hardware-oriented finalists and became an international standard under ISO IEC. Targeting at Trivium, we verify our method experimentally. First, for a cube set shown in the slide, we recover its superpolar in the output bit of 591 round Trivium. According to the ANF of the superpolar, by setting different values of non cube variables, different equations could be obtained. In particular, when all the non variables are set to zero, the corresponding superpolar is zero constant. It implies that setting the non-cube variables to zeros, which is adopted widely, may be, not the, may be not the optimal choice. Second, we calculated the superpoly of i in the output bit of 586 round The superpoly is complexity. Fortunately, by appending some non-cube variables to the set of cube variables, some simple superpolis could be obtained. See Table 2 for details. Finally, we apply our method to trivial variants with more than 830 rounds. For the cube used to attack 832 round trivial, we calculated its superpoly, which is given by equation 1. Accordingly, under two different assignments of non cube variables, we could obtain two different equations, which are shown in the slide. Based on these two equations, we could recover at least one bit information of the secret key, and for 832 round trivium, the 80 bit key could be recovered in less than 2 to the power of 17, 79 plus 2 to the power of 73 requests. Furthermore, for the cubes used to do key recovery attacks against the Trivium at Crypto 2018, we prove that their superpolis are all zero constant. It indicates that such key recovery attacks are all distinguished attacks in fact. Thank you.